To transform a selected item or group of items, you'll find four control points around it, as well as a selection menu on top. Let's start with the menu. Tap on the paperclip icon to copy your selection to the clipboard. Once your selected item is copied, there are several ways to paste. You can deselect the item, then tap and hold on an empty area on the canvas, and you'll see a clipboard icon that allows you to paste the item. If you're in the gallery, you'll find a Paste from Clipboard option in the New Drawing menu, which will create a new drawing with just the contents of your clipboard. You can also find Paste from Clipboard in the Import menu up here. Next is Duplicate, which makes a copy of anything you have selected, and then Group, which allows you to bundle a group of items into one for easier selection and editing. Once grouped, you only have to select one item in the group, and the rest will be selected automatically. To ungroup, tap the button one more time. The lock button locks your items in place, and will make it so selection tools ignore it by default, unless you choose to include them using the filter down here. Then we have Delete, which removes your selection completely. And finally, the Flip buttons, which allow you to flip your selection either horizontally or vertically. Now let's look at the control points around your selection, which have some special capabilities. As you'd expect, dragging one of the control points will stretch the selection. A quick way to scale is to hold down another finger and it'll retain the proportions of your selection. This doesn't work with a stylus on Android, but multi-touch works just fine. If you want the line work to scale along, make sure to toggle scale from your options at the bottom. To use advanced transforms, like distorting a selection, tap on a corner control point to activate it, and then drag it around. You can select up to two control points at a time, Select ones next to each other, and you'll be able to skew the selection with a single finger, or warp it using two fingers. It's also possible to activate the diagonal corners of your selection for some interesting effects.